Hello, welcome to my website. I will quickly demonstrate how to install and use the quick sell component for selling files or doing digital delivery. So first we install the component. Okay, it's, that's done. So we install the plugin. That's done too. Okay, we first need to make sure that the plugin is enabled. That's how the buttons will appear. We'll go to the quick sell component, global configuration. By the way, it's configured to one of, uh, this is a sample test account for PayPal, where we can make uh, test transactions, etc. It's in set box mode. We have email delivered, enabled. We don't require registration. We have not enabled tax. Okay. Uh, here is uh, the email delivery settings. This will be the subject, this will be the body of the email, and as an attachment, the user will receive the file that he ordered. If uh, the user is registered in our website, in your website, the user will receive the file on his profile email. This is done to make sure that uh, delivery will go to a proper usable by the user email. Okay. These are recommended to stay on. If some of these is turned off, you can experience problems in the communication with PayPal. These are pretty much self-explanatory, free download groups. On means user will be able to download without paying anything. Here is the upload section, which is where you need to upload some file that you would like to sell online. After the file is uploaded, you move to the file section. Here we have the file. It's lighthouse.jpg. We can make a button. My lighthouse painting price will be 20. 20 watt. US dollars. Not any custom. We can have like 25% discount rate. The code here is updated automatically. Check it out. When you click somewhere, it changes instantly. So we select the button, we copy. It's a more answer about that. Copy. You go to the article manager or your custom model. It doesn't matter. Whatever you put the text, the thing will make this uh, the order button show up. For example, I want to put my button between these two lines and just paste the code here and click save. Now on the front page of the website, and click or where, when when you visit the article, you can see the button that you selected. Okay, so we can just click to make an order. Okay, so it's $20. We have the discount 25%, which is $5. Item total $15. Okay, so we'll make the test order. Click pay now. And we get the click here to return to your download page. Once clicked, PayPal starts the redirection process. It will now inform us that we've made a payment, and if we're not redirected, click here. Okay, so we're back on the article, but instead of the buy now button, we have a download link, which works. In this demonstration, we have a download limit of three. So here is the second successful download, third successful download. Now, the fourth attempt will end up with a 403 message. Sorry, you have reached the maximum amount to download for this order. I need to purchase the file again, so the user will be able to download again. As you can see, we did the whole thing without making a registration. This makes it easier for you, as people don't really like registering. 
So you will not be losing customers just because they're too lazy to register. They just, or they just don't want to bother with it. Okay, so here we can close the article. And we start our extension quick sell. And we have the orders here. And we have user zero. That's a one. That's non registered user, as you can imagine. This is the payment. And this is the whole information. If you unpublish this order, the user will not be able to download. This is uh, an option so you can stop someone from accessing the download for some reason if needed. The help section will send you to my website where you can ask questions and we can guarantee that you will receive a response in 12 to 24 hours maximum. Okay, so that's pretty much how the extension works. Thank you for your time and if you have more questions, please get back to me. Thanks.